Hello again, everyone. Welcome to Gravity Badgers. Oh yeah, I'm a badger, and I'm flying in space. <laughs> I like that badger in the background. Who's just hello? Zoom. Goodbye. So the options menu are outside of the game. It's on the start of the screen. It does have graphic quality from faster to fantastic. It does have resolution and key mapping and joystick mapping. You can change language, a lot of languages. And options in the game are guiding stripes, maybe? Information or credits? So I'm sorry, guys, but it's going to be slow. It's delete save data data. I'm not bothering. I'm just playing it all again. And it's sound off. Quiet. So silent. And on. And on. Thank you. And then it's the internet on Facebook on the internet and the homepage and the tweeting bird. No steam. No. You bought it on Steam for 5 euros or 374 if you buy it before the 5th of December. Let's play them. It's a uh, Angry Birds space copy. As blatant as that, as that. Though you play as a badger and you're not playing against something, I think. Or maybe you are. It's a bit hard to. What? Hmm, this button. Oh, you can choose between different characters. I'm Captain T. Payback. Not Payback, but Payback. It's. It reminds me of the Smoking Abandoned movie with Captain T. Buford. T. Justice Buford. T. Buford. Oh, yeah. So. Maybe I'm gonna save someone? I've actually not seen this cutscene. Let's watch. They do look terribly afraid though. Ah, it's a transformation pipe. It's a cart badger thing. And the music are... I guess it's supposed to be moody, but it's almost depressing. It's, it's not a happy, chappy game. Happy bunny game. What now, Grandpa? And the tutorial are slow. I'm sorry to say, but... Wales, you are <clears throat> Wales Interactive, you have failed. The tutorial are slow and it could have been implanted, in, in combined <clears throat> with the first missions. This is, this is boring stuff. You almost get sick of waiting before actually going to play. The further you pull back, the more power the jetpack will have. Yeah, we played Angry Birds, we know how this works. Now get to that wormhole over there so we can move on. Oh, the grandpa is so angry. And I'm just a little badger. A cute little badger. Oh. No, Jack. And a huge enormous arrow. Yeah, I'm not an idiot. I know what pull and drag means. And there. And that's it. So we're not going to destroy things like we are doing on Angry Birds. We get him from. One step to another, and then more talk. Yeah, space is dangerous, I know. Mm -hmm. And that's a guy that I think I can turn off in the menu. Uh, it's, it's the only thing that's dotted, I think. Yeah. Like Angry Birds! So, yeah, avoid those, these obstacles. It's not like it's some story that makes you get a feel for- Ah, oh, I'm gonna die! Oh, I'm so stupid. And you you, you will notice that I'm I'm awful at this, this kind of games. I'm truly awful. I actually struggle with Angry Birds. I have to give away my cell phone so that I'll do some missions before I crush my cell phone. I'm, I'm truly awful at this kind of games. We are Gravity Badgers! Who here? 
but I'm not getting the feel for it. Using gravity to journey through the universe and using push and pull forces to get around. Yep, yeah, I know. These red planets have the ability to pull you. I guess you can read. Yeah. So it's like the planets in Angry Birds. <laughs> roadkill. Yeah, roadkill in space. Space kill. I must admit, I do think the background is nice. It's quite static, but it's nice. But the music. Mm. Get some others and. So, okay. <laughs> I like how the banshee just explodes when I hit the screen edge. So, yeah, I did the maximum. How. Where does it show the maximum? Oh, it shows how far it went. Okay, so a little bit under then. Yeah. It works just like Angry Birds. And achievement progress! <laughs> Woohoo! Next step on using gravity is using the blue planets. This push you away! Mwah! Away! No right of gravity to reach wormhole. Yeah, I know the dream now. Just <laughs> awesome! Oh, it's, it's like telling a kid that you can get that candy. It's awesome! Candy! Yeah. Pull, slip, hit, bow, green! <laughs> and achievement progress! Let's use these forces together! Rad! Random. Yeah, so... Then you pull, pull, then you're gonna pull, then you're gonna pull, and you're gonna move. Like that. I do think you're gonna get achievement progress again. Yeah, and. This seems like some indie games. I had this on Beast, Beast Box and Turbo as well. Some have the sound much louder on some effect. So, effects? It's plural, so it's more effects. Anyway, it's. Uh, I'm. You hurt my ears. I having. I'm having this music at at normal sound now. A sound that I like, and the other sounds are suddenly lovely. Yeah, this is laser trigger. I know. SpaceX switch off this space chill. Okay. Space chill protect objects in space. Yeah. Wanna get hurt? It's a it's it takes a long time. Grandpa You actually get a little feel for kid here. That's hmm, this grandpa is just an angry old badger who doesn't really care about his grandson Baybash. I sort of went through that space part air. Yeah. An old sound. These are warpers. They can send you instantly from one place to another. Enter blue, exit purple. And now get to it in the wormhole and all that stuff. Yeah, I know the drill now. Just send me away. Pow, pow, pow. Way! It's... It's... Inspired by Angry Birds, it's not a blatant copy of Angry Birds, it's not. It's inspired of Angry Birds and it's trying to do its own. <coughs> its own. Oh no, sorry. <sighs> Something to do it. And trying to do its own spin on it, but. It's not working. I'm not quite feeling it. It's just another generic. Puzzle thingy game. It's not a puzzle. So when it's not that logical and it's Yeah, it really doesn't work and you get so damn fed up of the tutorial that you wanna just click it away. Ah. Oh well. And I wanna and when you see the mission start and yes the big arrow like a I do understand it. Click there and click. Yeah, I know. 
game, game treats you like you're five years old. And this has been only the beginning of a trick. Oh my. Yeah. And suddenly, POW! I'm an adult! Captain Bayback. Yeah, seems like only means you're going to start the training. And finally, you're a gravity badger. Live long and badger. I'm badgering. Whatever that is. And as you can see, I've done some of this, and I'm struggling some of this, and this is the characters, like I just said. Yep, I remember I said that. Boom! The badger chip. The bee chip. The ba badger chip. The badger mobile. Not the bat mobile. Mobile. But the badger car. The badger spell. Ooh, evil badger. Watch out for evil angry badgers. Ooh, you're not getting a feel of this. So, look at this. Why can't this be the tutorial? Look, it just drag, release, and complete. And then it's drag, avoid obstacles, and mission complete. Then it's click, then it's drag, full power, you need full power, in the hole, and to gravity, and to gravity, and pow, pow, and it works. And then it's down to more power, and pow. Oh, that's a warp. No, that's a wormhole. That's a warp. I think I'm gonna sneeze. Super vision. Ciao. Oh. And then it's not really anything important because this doesn't affect you at all. It's just nice graphics. The background has changed, but it's the same background. And then. Down, pow. And this is so easy that it can be this tutorial. And I don't understand why they didn't achieve progress. And I don't understand why they didn't have this in the tutorial. It takes all the things from the tutorial and you are playing it once again. Like this, this is the perfect tutorial ice cube thing. Ice cube. Ice cube, ice cube, ice cube, and wormhole! And... Avoid, avoid obstacles, avoid obstacles, avoid obstacles, avoid obstacles. Oh, I didn't take that. Oh well. Not perfect then. Uh, I have to go down. I have to go down. Yeah, like this. Oh, too much. Mm. It isn't that easy to understand how much. Yeah, right. How much you're actually gonna get pulled down and pow, 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 chum, pew, tow. Wormhole! So, if you're really into this kind of games, I mean, the Angry Birds copies, the. The gravity, the exploding badgers, and the whole gravity theme. I wonder how I'm actually going to do this one because I don't seem to be smart enough. That pulls me down. Okay, some brainstorm now. The first red one pulls me up, and the second pulls me down, and the third pulls me up. So I need to get down and up and down. So not that much down. So down, Ooh. down, up, down. Woohoo! Yeah, manage it. Where me? Achievement progress. Yeah. So, so you're gonna pull me close and away, and not far enough away. Far enough away. Manage it. So yeah, as I said, 
if you, if you like the Angry Birds Star Wars kind of games, if you like these kind of games, Power Euros, by all means, buy it. But it could have been so much better. So much better. It's not. It doesn't bring anything new in it. It's. It's a new game, it's not a complete ripoff. It's not a blatant copy, but it's clear that they have taken a fair share of inspiration from how am I supposed to do this now? What right? Yeah. Oh, so those more things they also pursue the way. Yeah. It's so easy to see the inspiration and where the inspiration comes from. Uh, but to be inspired by a game, you have to make a new one that's better. This ain't better, it's worse, it's not original. As I said, if you love this kind of games, then 5 euros, no, it's not much. It's on Steam sale until the 5th of December for 3.74 euros and... Okay, I'm, I'm not regretting that I bought this game. It's for 374. It's probably gonna give me those money back in game time, but it's absolutely not one of the best games of 2013. If you just want an indie game, if you don't really care about the genre, and if you don't really care about what kind of game it is, you just want a good indie game, then there are so many other games to try. You can try Papers, Please. You can try Thomas was try, try. Uh, Thomas was alone. Nine plus O three M. And Mechanical. I know that Thomas was alone and, Me and Mechanical is twenty twelve games, but still. And yeah, and I've forgotten someone. I'm feeling it. I'm remembering it, but I can't seem to remember which game I've forgotten. Oh shit. Brain fart. Anyway, this game is not a game that's competing for a top 10 game of the year. Not top 10 indie games. It's probably uh, not in top 3 of Angry Birds copies either. But yeah, if you like the kind of game, yeah, okay, you should buy it. It's it's making the time go, and in that way, it's do it's doing its job, but it's not revolutionary. It's it's just. Uh, safe, we are going in the middle of everything game. It's not a revolution, it's not fantastic, it's it's okay. There's no major bug, there's no bad rats kind of physics. It's it just ain't original, it just ain't anything new, it's just the same old again. Uh, so if you really like these games, you should buy it. If you really don't care about these games then you shouldn't buy it if you don't have any games and want just one game then why not you could be happy and that's basically it so i hope you enjoyed this and i hope i'll see you next time goodbye